Next, we're going to talk about something that you're going to hear a lot about with DAS, and that's multi-tenancy versus single tenancy. It's a really important concept because they're two completely different kinds of DAS that your customer may or may not need. So to explain this, let's draw our server here. Once again, that's off in a data center somewhere. Once again, we have our hypervisor that is creating uh, a number of servers. Now, we talked previously how it spins up one server for DAS. Really, it's closer to six, okay? So to create a DAS environment, you need more than one server. You're going to need a delivery a controller server. You're going to need one for maintenance and imaging. You're going to need an access gateway server. You're going to need a domain controller. You're going to need a profile server. And you're going to need provisioning servers. These are where the actual virtual machines are created. One server houses nine or 10 virtual machines. For every user on top of that, you need one more server for each nine or 10 additional users, okay? So this is what we call a bundle that every client gets. Now, where the tenancy comes into play is that this bundle in a single tenancy environment is all for one business that has, let's say in this instance, five users. Everything, all the CPU, all the RAM, all the storage is for that one business. It's not shared. Now it's expensive to spin up a number of servers like this. It's expensive for one business, especially a small business. So let's say you have small businesses that only have a few people in them. Let's, so they have say three desktops, they have four, they have nine, and they have five, okay? Now in a multi-tenancy environment, all five of these businesses are utilizing this same, these same resources. Um, and now it's very secure, and there are specific lines of security where this company is not able to access this company's information. They're not able to see it or share it or have access to it, right? There's definitely a lot of security in there but they're sharing the same resources. Try to think of this like if you're a landlord and you want to own houses or you want to own, let's say, a hotel. So you can own multiple houses and these multiple houses have their own resources. They've got individual air conditioning units, water is individual, power is individual, right? These houses are not sharing any information it's great to live in a house. You have all, you've got all these resources to yourself. They're not spread across very efficiently. It costs more to uh, rent or own a house than it does to rent or own a hotel or like a condo, for instance, right? So in a condo, all the water is shared, the electricity is shared, the heat and water is shared. It's more efficient. It's got pros, it's got cons. The uh, major con of uh, the shared environment is that it's really hard to run. It's very tough to run. Not a lot of companies can really do this. I mean, not a lot of companies can do this. But this is very challenging. So you have to have a company who can do it really well. You've got to use uh, software, DAS software, that's made for this. So that is uh, multi-tenancy versus single-tenancy. Very important for you to know.